Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play A Legionary's Life, episode number 11. And, uh, boy, it's fun to think that we made it six, ep six episodes, I think, on the same character. Uh, so here we are. Let's try to keep Tortuga the Fifth going. So we got our workout session. Character's still looking pretty good. Constitution is up to a whopping 880. Jeez. <laughs> Not that we need it that high. I mean, I'd much rather have strength at 80. That would be, in that would be great coordination at 80 that would be fantastic not quickness though again I'm, <laughs> I don't know if I, uh, I I somewhat dispute their the use of quickness in this game since it, it can almost be a bad thing which it shouldn't anyways coordination endurance pretty much the things that I want uh, and I'm not getting and they put me in charge of a party uh, blah. since I don't think we're lucky enough to ever get points for Oh man, these towns are a disaster. I don't think we're going to be lucky enough to get points for intelligence and charisma off of these. So I'm not very happy to see this. This is actually an abysmal. An abysmal um, layout for us. Alright, let's start trying to minimize the number of mountains and stuff we go through. I think we're going to end up going through two forest and one mountain to get to that first one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any real way around it. We're just going to have to do this, which is painful. Collect. Okay, good. So then we'll just get these other two. No way to avoid going through this twice. So we go boom. Ah, you've seen this double tap thing happen in a few times, I think. And I actually wanted to go up. Damn it. Okay, now that that's already made a mistake. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's four no matter what and now we need to go down to probably that last one should be enough I mean look at how many supplies we have certainly enough and time left is actually doing okay surprisingly got it so the return trip is actually going to be pretty easy. Okay, you know what? I don't know if they gave us extra time. They had some kind of algorithm to say, oh, this is a really bad setup. Give him more time. But that ended up being completely okay. Ah, maybe it's if you only collect from, well, hey, I'll take it. It's a little bit late in the game, but uh, Jean was saying that um, you might you get um, events if you only collect from towns, if you don't collect from the the other events. Anyway, so let's go and try to train. Don't think we're good enough to do this, so let's, oh my gosh. There's always a considerable number of merchants mingled with the crowd of camp followers. One of them invites you to take a look at his wares. Of course we'll accept. You find nothing of interest, okay. <laughs> we, we failed an intelligence and a, an awareness test. Um, I think awareness was at 53, 55, 56, and intelligence at 52. So our charisma is actually pretty good, 60. That's good. Like the one thing I know we can get better at is javelin. So it's like, okay, we'll just do that. But no, let's go back to swim coordination. Hooray, I wanna go strength. Well, that was a pretty good one. Time is over, oh my gosh. <laughs> Move on to the next main battle. Okay, that was that was quick. I didn't have a chance, not that we really needed to. This is the first time we haven't really needed to um, offer sacrifice, but a quick little training session. My one regret is that we didn't get any of our main skills up. So hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us. Hasbrol has managed to convince Syphex not to give up on the war effort. With a display of enviable tenacity, he has also raised another levy of soldiers. More interestingly, they were joined by 4,000 battle season Celtiberian mercenaries. Once again, Scipio leads you away from the city of Utica, leaving enough forces behind to maintain the ongoing siege. You come inside of the enemy within days, you make a camp on the hill, on a hill, a few miles from theirs, safe from the 
save for the Celtiberian Scutarii, Scutarii, you are not worried about what is to come. Nobody doubts that at the end of the upcoming battle, Carthage will be one step closer to capitulation. I'm having a hard time reading today. Campi Magni in Africa? I have no idea where that is. I mean, at least I've heard the words Utica before, probably because it's a place in New York. <laughs> not because it's a place in Africa, I know, but... Um, okay, well, let's just get into it. You can volunteer to scout the surrounding area if you wish. Yeah, we'll volunteer, sure. You leave camp with Publius Arius. Your introspective mate doesn't talk much. You meet nothing noteworthy apart from the occasional bit of local fauna. You are emerging from a patch of undergrowth when a, you see a Carthaginian soldier across a shallow book, brook right in front of you. He looks very young and nervous. He winces the moment he sees you and takes a couple of steps back. Two more are about 30 steps behind him. They must be part of Hasdrubal's most recent levy. We'll just scare him off with a display of swordsmanship. And I have to say, I'm going to confess full transparency. I challenged this guy to a duel before and just slaughtered him. And I don't even think I fought, but you get negative re relations with your comrades um, for just showing no honor, basically. It is enough to break his nerve. He drops his round shield and runs away. His two fellows imitate him almost immediately. Arius grins and gives you a pat on the back. So my virtue has increased by five. It, you wouldn't really figure it. In war, I mean, all is fair in love from war, right? But I don't know if I... I I'm essentially disagreeing with that event. But anyway, you return to your camp and report what you saw. It is time to get some rest. So nonetheless, it gave us some virtue. It gave us, more importantly, troop opinion. Which hopefully next time can be used to give us some skill. The only thing we got is, what, that one skill in Javelin? Uh, and we're still below 50. Okay, well, on we go. The next day, a large skirmish flares up when Scipio leads the cavalry to harry the Punics and their allies. At first, you are holding the ground in support of the more mobile forces, but chaos ensues as the enemy launches a counter-strike. Light infantry is harassing your left flank, pinning you down. Ahead to your right, you notice a group of retreating velites. They are in serious trouble. One of them lies on the ground, a grievous leg wound preventing him from fleeing. Two of his companions are desperately trying to hold off five Numidian foot soldiers. Velites are skirmishers, poorly equipped for hand-to-hand -hand combat. They are about to succumb. Yeah. Well. We gotta do it, right? We're gonna leave formation and try to go kill them. These are light... So in my head, they are light combatants. We'll be facing three at the same time, which is insane. However... I don't even think we're going to be able to sell the, save the Velites. Um, it's just about the... <laughs> wow, virtue increased by 12. It's just about the... the it's the right thing to do, damn it. <laughs> so these are veterans. Okay, they have pretty decent... We're probably going to be swinging for the fences here. We're going to look for the one with the lowest defense, which I think was the middle one. This one, bottom one has very low constitution, though. Yeah, we might just go for this bottom one. Um, yeah, we'll throw the javelin. Yeah, we'll throw it at middle. Damn it. Okay. Perfect. We're just going to open up on him. Well, that was not as good as I was hoping, but we'll go for it anyway. Got it. Please don't hit me. Okay. He failed. Okay, so I think we just got to go for it here. And we do have some bonus after you... Okay, he recovered, but you do have some kind of bonus. What does this say? This character's weapon is temporarily denied any reach advantage, and weapon attacks are severely penalized. Also, recover is moderately penalized when fighting in an open space. Okay. I think we ought to just kill this guy. I think our best bet is to just eliminate him immediately. You gotta be kidding me. So close. Okay, well, now we'll do it, I guess. Got one down. Okay, we absorbed the hit, which is very good. Um, I don't see this. Okay, this guy is pretty low defense. Let's take a look at his defense and then compare that with... Yeah, this guy's is definitely better, even though he has lower constitution. So let's go for this guy next. 
kind of crazy. We're just swinging for the fences here. <laughs> but I think it's going to work out. Ouch. 21. What? Oh, it's another one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's another one. Well, yeah, we, we really need to kill these guys quickly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank god. Okay, um, we're going for the head. I think that's the most damage, right? 1.5. Oh, neck is actually the most, but head is pretty good. Oh gosh, 24. Hey, you never know, we could do it here. We could actually do this. Oh, so close. And we got, well, we get another hit. It's just, all we need to do is land a hit. Highest percentage. Got him. Okay, 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 everyone's recovering, so let's just take a moment, defend, recover. Is this a new guy? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I'm glad that they all took a whole bunch of turns while we were on a defensive setting, but enough of that. Okay, this is... We saved the Velites now, at, at this point. there's All of them are fighting us. We've killed two. Can you imagine this? I'd like to kind of imagine this this nonsense, this just complete chaos where <laughs> this one legionary, obviously he's extremely well trained. Tortuga the Fifth is really a, a, a monster on the battlefield at this point. I mean, you can tell that by him killing two veterans, no problem. And these are Syphex's veterans, so they're not, um, these are the the Numidians. I, I, they said that, that's right, but I, I just, it just dawned on me what Syphex meant. <laughs> Anyway, let's um, let's reevaluate who we want to attack here. Probably not this guy. Okay, probably he's second. Oh, this guy's constitution is extremely high. And okay, so we want to go for the middle one. He has lowish constitution. His defense is okay. I mean, I think that all their defenses are around fifty. Yeah. So it's got to be this guy. Um. I think we're going to stay back defensive until one of them misses. Because this is a little bit hard to open up on. Perfect. The exact one we wanted to. And we're going to have to just suffer the penalty. Because we're going in. We'll go for torso here. Beautiful. Now that gives him a big penalty, as we see there. She didn't realize that that happens. Pretty cool. Um, I think we're still going to go for it. Ooh! Ouch. Okay, thank goodness. Yeah, well, um, at this point, our, we're extremely... What? Okay, I just got to know. 50% chance. <laughs> because he is, does have this penalty. I don't really want to give that back, but... Alright, we'll go ahead and recover. I love when them, them getting... Oh, damn. So I was going to say I love them getting second turns when, you know, but when I uh, am already on the defensive. What's our odds here? Not very good. I think this is another opportunity for us to just recover. Hopefully that they all take multiple turns. Okay, well, we're all back to square one. What's our attacking looking? Eh, attacking is not looking good. I think we'll go in respite once with a slight defensive. That was a good decision. Okay, now we're going to lay on, lay into them. And we get to go again, which is perfect. I might go for the head here. Got him. Amazing. Oh, the soft spot on the head. I mean, that must be a very, very low percentage, but... <laughs> All right, now that we killed somebody, let's just take a moment to respite. I mean, we're only at 50% of the lowest fatigue thing. We already have one opponent who's above that. We'll respite. Is he going to respite? No, he's just making his own situation worse. So I think we can kind of um, relax. Let's wait for somebody to give us an opening. Wait. Respite, faint, respite. Okay, so we can attack this guy and try to go for his arms or legs. 50% chance. Not a great chance. It's respite. Uh. 
Okay, well... Good enough for me. Oh, wow. Not This guy's very defensive. Is it because we're not recovered completely? No. I just... Well, if we can get an arm hit, that would be nice. And we did. That was perfect. That was actually, like, the perfect situation. <laughs> so we have two options here. I mean, we can keep hammering on the guy we started to work on. His constitution is insane, absolutely insane. Otherwise, we can go with the guy, go after the guy with low constitution. How's his endurance versus this guy's endurance? They're about the same. Um, we have this guy on a penalty. It's fatigued. Okay, so yeah, we have this guy with a penalty, so I guess we should still go after him. So keep it up in his head. Ah, of course not. Well, just give it another shot. No, oh, no, 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 because our stance was affected. Okay, let's go back to just recover. Failed. It's okay. We're still doing okay and just... Ah, okay, look at that helmet absorbing all that. Beautiful. So we'll just keep recovering because it doesn't take much fatigue to do. Oh, look at this armor is just saving us here. Please recover. <laughs> Okay, there's our opening. He's the guy we want anyway, even though his... Man, it's, it's going to be a, a long road to get to him. Let's go for the torso just to build our... Uh, I was going to say build our advantage, but... Now we have to recover. Okay. He failed his, so I guess we'll just go aggressive. There it is. Okay, they all succeeded. I think we'll just sit back and respite for a moment. Play the longer game. Now that there's only two of them. Only two of them. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, he succeeded. Okay, well, I guess we'll just recover. Not recover. Well, what is my attack percentage? Pretty darn low. We'll go for a recover here. They did get us pretty good, so. Everyone's recovering, and let's respite. I want to make sure we don't lose morale here. We've done so well in managing our morale that I might go for, like, a feint or something. No, I think I'll respite at neutral position. I was a little bit worried about... Okay, well... That's, that's a good opening. I was a little bit worried about taking morale hits there, but should be okay now. This has got to be a hit. Yes. It, it didn't have to be, by the way, but it, I felt it. I felt like it was coming. Um, I wonder if we should keep working up the fatigue. They're both about to enter the, the third fatigue phase, which is insane. Well, 75% chance to do a lot of damage. I guess I'll take that instead. We can obviously just keep working on this guy. Um... Man, they're getting a lot of turns. So from what I've read, you get you're more likely to skip a turn or whatever if you I mean, are these guys extremely quick or something? Maybe. Kind of and yes. Um you're supposed to have more of an advantage the less tired you are. Um second action 7%, no action 5%, so they must be just having really high percentages or something. Anyway, this guy's no longer at a disadvantage, so it's pretty well reflected in our percentages. I think we'll just respite this one. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. This guy worked down to the <laughs> second highest. Well, we'll play this game. I don't think that they'll play it forever, so. I've gotten very lucky, too. All these hits are being absorbed. Okay, well, let's swing here. I don't know why, I just feel compelled to swing. Meh. 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 Well, no, probably not. Okay, that's fine. Still think we gotta recover this. There it is. Okay, and he hasn't recovered yet. Definitely my opportunity to try to finish him off. Ah.
I'm not too upset. I mean, I, I think it's it's been more or less fair. We're going to recover, and then we're going to respite. For a long time. <laughs> Basically, just hold on to your horses for a moment here until we get an opportunity to attack somebody. Because I want to build up a little bit of room. Just, just want to make sure that... Uh, yeah, this guy... Okay, well, that fact that he went to the next phase, how does that mean? How does that look? Let's go for it. All right, good. Oof. And again, good. We're a little more tired, so this next one might be a little more difficult. Nah, we're gonna be okay. All right. All right, we can sit and respite for a while. <laughs> this guy's not gonna be much of a challenge though, so, well, let's just, we'll still give him an opportunity. To, who knows, maybe there's an event right after this. So let's respite for a bit until he gives us an opening. Because he's just working himself into exhaustion over there. Alright, we got back. Whew. Okay, and there's our opportunity. So we got a, probably a really good strike on this. I mean, should I go for the leg? Part of me kind of wants to go for the leg. I'll go for the torso first. Um, part of me wants to go for the leg just to make it so that... <laughs> his fatigue just... Oh, God. He's exhausted. This character is exhausted and suffers a severe penalty to all checks. Okay, well, that, that's going to be to our... Extreme advantage. <laughs> yeah, look at this. We can hit him basically at will. This will be pretty quick. There it is. So that was phenomenal. Can you imagine one guy going 1v5 and just doing it? Well, I can't say that... I mean, we might have just got lucky. Who knows? I, I don't know. <laughs> but it felt really good. No spoils. Wow. Curses. Judging by the rage with which they fought, they must have been survivors of the fires of near Utica. You can be sure they weren't green recruits. Well, that didn't matter to Tortuga V. Two of Altes are dead. The one with the leg wound is the sole survivor. He looks at his dead companions, shocked partly because of their demise and partly because of what you did. He turns to you and whispers something that is lost in the noise of battle. There is no time to waste. You carry him on your shoulders and hurry back to the relative safety of your maniple. He's too heavy. A Carthaginian... Horseman is about to charge you. Protecting yourself and the wounded Veltes will be very difficult. Come on! <laughs> so the main, um, the way this works now, I, um, maybe this is just obvious, but I know for, uh, for sure that this means you take your strength check first and your quickness check as a, not a, f the weighting of it is more on the strength than the quickness. We have pretty good strength and pretty good quickness, so that's a little unfortunate. I don't know how to do this. I'm pretty sure we're just going to eat something if we do this, but we went, we killed five people for this. You got you to be kidding me that after all that work. Anyways, Phoenix strikes you with a devastating precision and rides past. Okay, I can tame, I can handle four. At last, you reach the mana pool. The, Vel, the Velas, whose name is Ovidius, thanks you profusely for saving his life. The deed you perform today is prodigious. So very... Like, I, I mean, you can tell. Holy cow. 10, 8, 6. Everyone knows about it. Your cavalry redresses the balance of the skirmish. When the fighting dies out, you retreat from the vast plain and up your hill as your adversaries do the same. Hope my sound isn't cutting out. I'm getting like a... I think that something has modified my sound or something. Is it like crazy loud? Um, Sorry, just let me take a moment already 25 minutes into the video to just look at this so I don't yep I greatly apologize that was extremely too loud sorry about that so the whatever the volume is now it's is what it's gonna remain at but yeah it was way overcooked it means that some of these these games ugh, drives me nuts when you're playing them and they have like push to talk type options They'll usually rebind. They'll basically modify your recording settings, which is annoying. So we got a civic crown. You are rewarded 
uh, you are rewarded for saving the life of a Roman citizen in battle, killing an enemy, and holding the ground afterwards. Okay, great. Um, well, there's not much more to do but then continue. We still have 56 out of our 81 hit points, so we're feeling okay. The next two days are spent on erratic skirmishes. On the first day, you watch the scanty fights from the hill. On the second, your maniple is called to move down once again. And we regained 8 points of health. That's fantastic. Opposite you, there's a unit of Celtiberian mercenaries. They haven't seen much action until now, but even in the few clashes they have been involved in, they proved to be high-quality troops, even better than average professionals. That Hasdrubal Gisco managed to secure their help, even in Roman-controlled Hispania. Oh, that he did that is a testament to his brilliant organizational skills. Excuse me. You are facing each other in silence. In the distance, you see their chieftain, an intimidating-looking warrior in his chainmail armor. Oh, it doesn't even give me an option. Let the skirmish continue. No need to risk your neck on another skirmish. I think that maybe it doesn't even let me do this because I already... I don't know. Two? One? Yeah, well, I pressed two, so there's really nothing <laughs> you uh, it, that it would let me do there. Maybe our virtue is too high. Nothing relevant happens until the Tubican sounds retreat. I don't know this word. I confess. Once more, the two sides return to their camps. Okay. Our morale is superb. <laughs> and our opinion is fantastic. The only thing we could improve is our skills, our darn skills. <laughs> it's the fifth day since your arrival. This time, both armies are fully deployed. You have regained four more points of health. Fantastic. You stand in center along with the bulk of the heavy infantry that has the Hastati form a line in front of you. Lelius commands the Italic Cavalry on your right. He faces Syphix's Numidians. Their cavalry has been greatly reduced after the surprise attack near Utica. Their infantry is mostly composed of hastily recruited peasants. Your left wing is under Ma uh, Massinissa's control. His own Numidian cavalry is facing Hasdrubal's right wing, composed of Carthaginian horsemen. Having seen Massinissa's men in action, you don't envy the Punics. Your Hastati engaged the enemy center. You can't see what's happening, but eventually they retreat and your line replaces them in front. You can't be sure, but in the distance it seems your cavalry is pushing back the opposite wings. With luck, this battle won't last much longer. Anyway, the Celtiberian mercenaries in front of you, your maniple requires your full attention. Or require your full attention. Um, yeah, we'll launch our javelin. I don't think we'll go for the bullseye quite yet, but... And, uh... Your troop is sliding into disarray. You failed to properly keep it in line. What? The ranks are getting dangerously messy. Your superiors won't be happy with you. I wonder what happened here. What kind of check this was. You have to temporarily take the centurion's place at the front. Good lord. That was a freaking lot of... I, I mean, I just ate so many penalties. <laughs> Anyway, um, this guy is pretty good. His weapon is much better than his defense, so all we need to do is wait for him to miss, and we should have a good opportunity to just start wailing on him. I think I'll just throw my javelin from a defensive position, expecting exactly that exact thing to happen. We'll recover first, or fail to. Okay, well, we'll attack, because knowing he's going to recover if we don't, I mean, um, He's going to recover um, on his next opportunity, so we'll just attack. He didn't. Interesting, and that didn't put him at a disadvantage either. Hmm. Most precarious. Well, I think we'll go back and do a recover now. Okay, and that'll give us a recover. And let's respite. Okay, actually, we don't need to play this super defensive because I think this is going to be a rotation deal. So we'll just swing. And, ouch. Now we'll recover. Yeah, we failed, but then, oh my god. Yeah, well, I mean, eventually something's going to happen, right? <laughs> eventually he's going to miss or something. Okay, 18 damage, that's quite a lot, and that gives us an opportunity to recover. 
I misplayed that at the beginning a little bit. Man, this guy's... Oh, it's his weapon skill. It's really good. Man, that's a... That's quite aggressive. I think I'm going to go for the attack here, knowing that he's going to recover. Although... Fucking hell. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go for the aggressive respite. Or the somewhat aggressive respite. Wait for him to recover. And then... Oh, he got two turns, but damn it, now I don't have my recovery. Damn it. Alright, we're not going to face him much longer. We got him below 50%. Well, let's just swing for it now. Ouch. And, but that's it. So we got some morale, we got some opinion. You have to temporarily take the sentry in place at the front. Um, yeah, we'll close in then. Faints. Our fatigue is com like not at all, and his is extremely high. Well, it's about to tip onto the next. You know, I don't like um, losing. Well, it's a better than 50% chance. I guess we'll go for it. Probably wasn't a good idea. Yeah, you get. I think that the. That's stupid. I don't know why. I, I gotta stick with the faint. I gotta talk myself out of the faint for no good reason. Um, now it's okay to attack because we have a really good percentage. And I think we'll go with the leg here. Oh! But let me just. I gotta play my smart game. I know how to play smartly. Why don't I just do that? <laughs> so don't. When it's full and full, I don't need to surrender the advantage. Okay. Just gonna recover this one. Alright, we'll respite from a neutral position. Okay, resisted, but I think I'll just go back and recover. Respite. So, this is where I don't think I need to. I'm willing to just do a normal feint, which thankfully doesn't give me as perfect. Now I can go for the attack. It didn't, didn't make me lose any of the... Yeah, I think we'll just go for the torso here. Which didn't put him on as big a defensive. What if I go for the leg? Ugh, just can't hit his leg. His leg's too, it's, it's too quick. <laughs> I think we'll go for the arm. I mean, we'll just go for it. All right. Yeah, it doesn't really, you don't really need to go for fatigue in these, uh, the when you're in within your mana pool. But, um, it's going to be hard to get this guy to blow 50%. Probably not worth doing, even. Ah, bother. Let's go for it. Ah. We tried. <laughs> so they're tenaciously holding their ground. We'll cycle back around. The Scutarii are resisting. One might almost say heroically. Everyone else in their army gave way. With nowhere to flee in this foreign land, no chance to obtain pardon from Scipio, they fight to the last man as they are surrounded and exterminated. Their sacrifice gives part of the enemy army the opportunity to escape. When you are ransacking the enemy camp, you notice two soldiers of your mana pool stealing and keeping stuff for themselves. I don't know. You know, I okay, I'm going to report them because I want my virtue to be high, and this is a game. But also because I guess that they're not... If they wanted to give it to the mana pool, that'd be fine. But Well, I could also turn a blue blind eye. I think I'll turn a blind eye, man. They just had a hard day of fighting. Oh, whatever. Screw your virtue. And uh, that's probably going to call this video to a close. I don't know how much further we have in this uh, battle, but just in case, I better save it here. So for now, thanks for watching, and until the next video, take care.